Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Um, Jason, hello again. Uh, hey. I wanted to touch back on the NHI. Um, that's the intriguing thing to me. So your encounter with the slightly tint blue being um, what kind of color blue? Is it like the blue in the water in my picture? Was it a navy blue or royal blue? That's one question. The second question is you alluded to the fact that uh, there's multiple races. Obviously, there's one that you had direct contact with other than ours. How many would you say uh, that you've come across in your time uh, doing the intelligence work that, like, you know, have stuck in in uh, in your mind as, as far as how many races we're dealing with here? Uh, so the number of races, to answer that part, I would say that I did hear at one point it could have been a totally different council that I had heard, but a council of 12 was what I heard. Um, whether it was related to NHI or not, I don't know. Um, as to the color blue, I would say he looked exactly like somebody that I would have thought was freezing half to death in the desert. So it was kind of like the same blue that you and I turn when we are really cold. Clothing? So I'd say it was closer to like a uh, a sky blue undertone. Maybe. Gotcha. Sky blue. I'm just trying to picture what that would look like in my mind. Um, pretty yeah. shocking, I'm, I assume, that you see something yeah. like that. Well, you, uniform? Uh, yeah, he was in a BDU uniform, which led me to believe that he was actually working in the program before his craft got messed with. Maybe he had an altercation of some kind. Um, in, in, with the program people and they shot at his craft and that's what broke it. Um, and why he needed it to be repaired. And on top of that, it, uh, the only two suppositions I have as to why he was wearing a uniform uh, was a number one, he might've been working with the program and he, that's what they wear. Um, or since <clears throat> the previous week, I knew that other people that I worked with had seen his craft on the range the week before he may have been trapped there over the weekend and perhaps one of the other people because there's people that stay there over the weekend on the range maybe they also gave him uh, a set of uniforms or something like that because you know he looked strange or whatever or he looked cold to them as well and he or, or maybe he was able to manufacture them himself it might be a third option i just don't know but he was wearing a uniform so last last question uh, in regards to appearance, um, eyebrows, hair, any facial features? No hair, from... no eyebrows, no hair, facial features. Uh, he looked like he was uh, probably in his 50s or 60s wrinkle wise on his forehead and neck area. They did look a little bit deeper than a person of 18 years old or whatever. Um, so he did look like he, you know, what we kind of look like when we're getting in our fifties or sixties. Um, so the other features I've kind of already gone over his, his nose was a bit big and, uh, his eyes were definitely big and his ears conformed to his head. Other than that, it, it was very much a human looking head. His, his lips were a bit thin, uh, but not out of the, 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 the realm of normal, you know? Gotcha. And any communication? Sorry, one last thing that's thrown there. Like, did, did you did you did, have a chit well, chat, or was it a ment was a tele telepathy exchange well, or anything? Really? His, well, his oral, uh, he he did speak orally to me, and it was in a language that uh, the only thing that I thought came close was like Norwegian, um, and uh, because it kind of had that kind of a, a lot of ooh and ah kind of a stuff in it. Um, in, in what he was saying, but I didn't understand a word of it. But te telepathic, definitely. I think the way I described it to others is that, you know, you and I can talk like even like right now, when I speak, the meaning of the words that I'm speaking, I don't even think about that. It. It's almost like a, a totally instinctive thing. But however, my brain has to attach the meaning to each word I'm using as I communicate to you. Likewise, when you receive that as a listening or when you're listening to me, again, you can understand me perfectly because you you are also attaching meaning at that, you know, really very 
uh, quick speed. So when I think back as to the telepathic part of his communication and why I understood every word he said, it's because I was receiving the meaning of every word that came out of his mouth before he was speaking it. And likewise, mine was to him. So was it friendly? Did, what did he say? Oh, did yes. Very, like was a, a very, very civilized. Um, Real quick. So, Jason, just to be clear, 